Mars probe finds kittens. The recent probe to Mars has returned irrefutable evidence that the red planet is populated with approximately 27 three-month-old kittens. These kittens do not give birth and do not die, but are forever locked in a state of eternal kittenhood. Of course, without further investigation, scientists are reluctant to call the chirpy little creatures kittens. Just because they look like kittens and act like kittens is no reason to assume they are kittens, said one researcher. A football is a brown thing that bounces around on grass, but it would be wrong to call it a puppy. Scientists at first were skeptical that a kitten-type being could exist in the rare Martian atmosphere. As a test, Earth kittens were put in a chamber that simulated the Martian air. The diary of this experiment is fascinating. 6 o'clock a.m. Kitten appears to sleep. 7.02 a.m. Kitten wakes. Darts from one end of cage to another for no apparent reason. 7.14 a.m. Kitten runs up wall of cage, leaps onto other kitten for no apparent reason. 7.22 a.m. Kitten lays on back and punches other kitten for no apparent reason. 7.30 a.m. Kitten leaps, stops, darts left, abrupt stop, climbs wall, clings for two seconds, falls on head, darts right for no apparent reason. 7.51 a.m. Kitten parses first sentence of daily newspaper, which is at the bottom of the chamber. With the exception of parsing, all behavior is typical earth kitten behavior. The parsing activity, which was done with a small ballpoint pen, was an anomaly. Modern kitten theory suggests several explanations for their existence on Mars. The first, put forward by Dr. Patricia Krieger of the Hey You Bub Institute, suggests that kittens occur both everywhere and nowhere simultaneously. In other words, we see evidence of kitten existence, but measuring their behavior is another matter. Just when the scientists point their instruments in a kitten's direction, it is gone, only to be found later in another place, perhaps at the top of drapes. Another theory, put forward by Dr. Charles Wexler and his uncle Ted, suggests that any universe where round things exist from theoretical spheres to ping-pong balls, necessarily implies the existence of a mover kitten. The scientific world has responded by saying that the notion of the mover kitten is not a concern for legitimate research and should be relegated to the pseudo-scientific world. The pseudo-scientific world has responded by saying that at least three endorsements from independent crackpots are needed before anything can truly be called pseudo. Some have suggested that the hostility of the Martian climate should be enough to seriously set back the long-term prospects of any species. However, the weakness of Martian gravity is a bonus for felines. They are able to leap almost three times as high as they can on Earth. They can climb twice as far up a carpet-covered post, and a ball with a bell on it will roll almost three times as far. This is at least equal to the distance that a mature poodle can roll a ball with its nose. Even though there could be a big market on Earth for eternal kittens, most scientists agree that the human race should not pursue a further involvement. There are those, however, who believe that having now discovered the creatures, it is our responsibility to amuse them. Dr. Enos Mowbray and his wife-slash-cousin Jane, both researchers at the Chicago Junebug Institute for Animal Studies, argue that the kittens could be properly amused by four miles of ball string cut into 14-inch segments. The cost of such a venture would be 4 miles of string, $135. Segmentation of string, $8. Manned Mars probe to deliver string and jiggle it, $6 trillion. The next time you look up at the heavens, know that mixed in the array of stars overhead, there is a pale red dot called Mars. And on that planet are tiny creatures, whose wee voices are about to be thunderously heard on this planet. A meow of intergalactic proportions. <laughs>